You failed, Your Highness. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. Hello, YouTube. This is Luke V2 Lightsaber here. Today, I am going to be talking about Dave Parkin's V2 run, which, unfortunately for you all, is close, but I was lucky enough to be on the list. And not only that, I also got a full commission from him, which is, to my knowledge, being finished right now. So I just wanted to go over things and sort of kind of hype things up and not only get myself excited for but get all of you kind of excited for it. Even though, you know, unfortunately you can't hold it in your own hands. Really, I just wanted to sort of go over my journey with it. So... And even Dave's journey too. I know he's worked extremely hard on this project. All of us involved in the run are happy to reap the rewards of it. So thank you very much, Dave. So before I get into Dave Parkin's work, I just wanted to talk about just my love for the V2 in general. Um, I think it all really came from me just really liking Luke when I grew up. I, uh, you know, I watched the movies when I was very, very young, probably like four, five, six years old. Luke was always a character, you know, he's the hero, he's somebody you can identify with. You know, I just always loved his cannon saber, you know, the one with e either like the bronze slash gold thin neck and everything. I'm pretty sure I had one, like a toy one when I was younger, you know, green, the green lightsaber, I just loved green anyway, it's like probably one of my favorite colors and I just love that color green anyway um, so I always identified with that cannon lightsaber but um, I guess as I got older and um, maybe about I don't know let's say four years ago when I really started looking into lightsabers like I was watching you know Shamim's videos and all kind of like big like replica prop lightsaber you know metal sabers not just not just your black series or whatever was out at the time hasbro so i kept watching lots and lots of videos and i kept coming the v across the v2 i'm like hmm what is this i didn't even like i was a big star wars fan but i didn't necessarily realize like there's a difference in the movies you know if, if you're not watching too closely you don't really pick up on that sort of thing like props being switched out and you know so small attentions to detail like that so I just kept watching these videos of Shamim and others you know reviewing you know lightsabers that they installed for customers and I'm like wow I just this is awesome I I don't know this weathering it's so like gritty and dark and um, I don't know something just really spoke to me <laughs> it's kind of weird but uh, yeah, and and going back to just Luke, it's Luke's always a character I could identify with, and uh, I don't know, just just the look of it. And then I do own one myself. I have uh, a Parks version, which I did end up weathering myself, you know, in coloring and you know, painting whatever. And it doesn't do it doesn't quite do it justice, but I mean, it's it's kind of good enough for me. And uh, I just always felt, you know, once I did that work, I always felt very connected to it. So, yeah, that's just a lot of the reasons why I feel so strongly about the V2 in general. So just a little about Dave and his work. Um, he's done several runs before. To my knowledge, they've all been on different versions of Luke Skywalker's lightsaber from Return of the Jedi. Uh, I think the first one that he did was a hero run, and he also followed it up with a Yuma run, which I'm not really going to talk about the, the basic differences, but I'll, uh, of course, be putting pictures up to kind of highlight the differences. But um, yeah, and I think he might have done two different runs on each, and now he's getting into the V2 territory. So what I've already shown you here are various pictures from the replica prop form, the RPF, um, which is basically uh, 
one of the main forums that's sabersmiths, lightsaber builders, however you want to say it, that they operate on or, you know, do a lot of research on and get a lot of input from other people. So it's a, it's a very useful forum and uh, one that sabersmiths often utilize. As you would have seen already, this is Dave Parkin's research and development thread for the V2. Here you see all of his reference materials, whether that's from Return of the Jedi or the original prop that was actually used in A New Hope by Alec Guinness, aka Obi-Wan Kenobi. So yeah, basically the original iteration was Obi-Wan Kenobi's and then they repurposed it to be the second version of Luke Skywalker's in Return of the Jedi. And quite frankly here, there's so much discussion about various things. The addition of a rod through the middle of, of the lightsaber, various markings or, you know, the stuff they inserted into it, uh, you know, the mystery chunk, the spinning emitter and how the emitter works, how it originally worked in A New Hope and how they would have, you know, had to change it for Return of the Jedi. Um, the mysterious circular mark on the pommel. I mean, there's a lot more to that he's gone over and it's all very interesting stuff. Of course, I'm going to put links. Uh, really, it's fascinating if you are into like sort of the history of this lightsaber and just how things would have worked. So if you're not familiar, I really suggest you check it out. It's very fascinating. And also on this research and development thread, you can see uh, various internalized views of, of the Sabre. Um, it, it's very interesting just to see like how carefully Dave had to research this. And really, uh, like I said before, we're, we're the ones that are going to reap the benefits. So like I said before, thank you, Dave. And uh, yeah, it's like a, it's just so interesting how it was crafted and the pains that he and many others before him had to go through just to uh, figure out how everything worked together. So like I said, there's really a ton that you can go through with this research and development thread. Uh, I'm not going to get too much more into it, but like I said, you really got to check it out for yourselves. And now I'm going to move on to the interest thread, which in itself is really neat. Um, it's a lot of what we've seen before, but I think everything is finalized and uh, kind of put all out there just to, like I said, generate interest and make some sales. So let's take a look. I, and I just want to note again, unfortunately, the run has been closed for some time now. There is a very small chance that Dave will have extras, but from what I understand, that's almost slim to none. So here you see more mock-ups of the V2, and you can also look at his um, motorized stunt from A New Hope, which he's also doing at the same time, since essentially it's, you know, the same exact saber, with some definite cosmetic differences, but essentially the same saber. But yeah, the motorized stunt is so cool. Um, I couldn't imagine what it would be like to hold that in your hand, because basically it's really the first true lightsaber i guess you could say the graflex too but those well those three really uh the graflex obi-wans and darth vader's mpp but really really amazing work by dave and he also put out some like video renderings which i thought was cool like uh you can see the one here for the damaged emitter the damaged pommel and also he has everything listed out like very one thing i like so much about dave is he is so upfront with everything like he just puts everything out there he gives you all the information he's you know always the first to give any updates which you know unfortunately in this community sometimes i understand it's hard but he always goes above and beyond to you know be as clear as possible he's always you know in constant communication in one way or another you know whether it's to you directly or on the forum itself giving updates but um anyway yeah you can see my name on the uh, on the commissions list the first commission list for the v2 
And yeah, I couldn't be any happier with uh, how things are going. And uh, a few people have received theirs at the time of recording. Um, I think they just got the base kits. Uh, from all accounts, they're truly stunning. And uh, I just can't wait for my <laughs> for my, for my full commission that he's you know currently working on. So. So keep up the good work, Dave, and uh, for all of us fans, uh, we couldn't be any happier. So thank you very much, guys, for listening to this video, for watching, and may the force be with you always.